डाइजेशन एंड एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ लिपिड जैसा कि हम सभी जानते हैं कि लिपिड इनसॉलिबल होता है वाटर में तो इसके डाइजेशन के लिए कई स्टेप्स फॉलो होते हैं जिनमें से इसका जो सरफेस एरिया है उसको इंक्रीज किया जाता है बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ द इमल्सिफिकेशन एंड आफ्टर दिस पेंक्रियाटिक एंजाइम्स एक्ट ऑन दिस लिपिड एंड डाइजेस्ट द लिपिड आफ्टर दिस इट्स एब्जॉर्बन अकर्स बाय द मिसेल फॉर्मेशन आफ्टर द एब्जॉर्बन इन द इंटेस्टाइन रिएस्टिफिकेशन प्रोसेस आर आकाश इन द इंटेस्टाइनल सेल्स एंड काइलोमैक्रोन आर फॉर्म एंड दिस काइलोमैक्रोन आर लिपो प्रोटीन विच आर फाउंड इन द ब्लड नाउ वी डिस्कस डाइजेशन ऑफ लिपिड इन डिटेल सो देर इज अ वन लिक्वल लिंगवल लाइपेज विच हैव ऑप्टिमम पी एच टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव एंड इट इज सिक्रीटेड इन द माउथ एंड इट डाइजेस्ट द ट्राइग्लिसोल बट इट इज निग्लिजिबल एंड सेकेंड एंजाइम फाउंड इन द स्टमक दैट इज अ गैस्ट्रिक लाइपेज विच हैव ऑप्टिमम पी एच by the chief cells of the stomach which stimulate the gastrin this digestion of the lipid by the gastric lipase occurs in the only into the neonate not in the adults and second digestion of the lipid in small intestine for this uh, digestion in the small intestine there is a emulsification process there is a dispersion of lipid into smaller droplets due to reduction in surface tension and increase in surface area of lipid droplets so there is a process of the emulsification for the lipid digestion and with the help of the bile salt and peristalsis lipid are mixed with the bile salt and form the small droplets of the lipid and it is called the emulsification process in the emulsification process there is a many hormones which helps to the emulsification process and digestion of the lipid first is the secretin which release the bicarbonate solution so we know ki there is a chyme comes from the stomach uh, which are acidic in nature so we need to convert this acidic chyme into the alkaline for the uh, activity of the enzyme so release of the bicarbonate solution chyme become alkaline and second is a cholecytokinin which helps to contract the gall bladder and release of bile salt which is which is help into the emulsification process and second it decrease the gastric mobility and third work for cholecytokinin is secretion of pancreatic juice which have a pancreatic enzymes and helps to digestion of the lipid there is a pancreatic lipase cholesterol esterase and phospholipase a2 into the pancreatic juices which uh, digest the lipids into the free fatty acid cholesterol phospholipids and monoglycerols and this solubilized product of the digestion of lipid which form the micelles after this and absorb in the intestine there is a one enzyme pro cholipase convert into the cholipase in the presence of the trypsin this cholipase provide the stability to the pancreatic lipase because uh, due to the presence of the bile salt with lipid pancreatic lipase loses the affinity to the triglycerol so cholipase stabilize the pancreatic lipase for the digestion of the triglycerol so now we discuss the how to the pancreatic enzyme digest the lipid so there is a triglycerol which have a three fatty acid and by the activity of the pancreatic lipase is convert into the two monoacyl glycerol which have a one fatty acid and the number two carbon and two fatty acids are releases and second is up by the activity of the cholesterol esterase cholesterol esters are converted into the cholesterol and free fatty acid and next is a phosphatidyl choline which have a two fatty acid choline and phosphate and by the activity of the phospholipase a2 phosphatidyl converts and lose the one for fatty acid and add the hydroxyl group which called as a lysolecithin now this lysolecithin by the activity of the lysophospholipase converted into glycerophosphoryl choline and two fatty acids are releases now the digested product of lipid that is free fatty acid free cholesterol phospholipid monoacyl glycerol are added with the 
bile salt and form the micelle micelle is the form of the lipid which is help into the absorption after and then after the micelle formation absorption are occur into the intestine and in the intestinal cells reacidification of the lipid are occur which form the chylomicron so now we discuss how the reacidification of lipids are occurs so there is a in the lumen there is a digested products of the lipid and which comes into the intestinal cell by the process of absorption and there is reacidification or occur so small fatty chains are direct entered into the blood and now fatty acid are converted into the acyl coa by the adding of the coenzyme after the change of the fatty acid into the fatty acyl coa this acyl coa added with the two monoacyl glycerol and convert into the triacyl glycerol and it also acyl coa can uh, add with the cholesterol free cholesterol and form into the cholesterol esters also acyl coa add with the lysophospholipids and this convert into phospholipids now the triacyl glycerol acyl coa cholesterol ester phospholipid and the four fat soluble vitamins like a d e k which mix with and form the chylomicron this chylomicron then transport into the blood which is the lipoprotein and it is a soluble form of the lipid now we discuss disorder of lipid due to defective digestion and absorption there is a steatorrhea which is a present of lipids in fecus more than 6 g per day so if the defective digestion and split fat positive in the fecus due to a defect in the secretion of pancreatic juice or bile and there is a defective absorption so split fat positive in the fecus by the intestinal cells so if the defect in lipid digestion occur due to absence of the pancreatic lipase and colipase into some diseases like pancreatitis pancreatic carcinoma and cystic fibrosis so triglycerol are increased into the colon and if the defects in lipid absorption so bile acid deficiency mucosal diseases and lipidic diseases occur in the liver liver diseases biliary obstruction and ileal resection and some genetic disorder which cause the increased fatty acid in colon which cause the steatorrhea and increased fatty acid in colon cause the induced water secretion which also cause the diarrhea and next is a cystic fibrosis which caused by the mutation in gene cystic fibrosis trans membrane regulator which help in the chlorine ion transport so if the chlorine ion transport is defected so water move outside of the cell and the secretion of the bile acid and pancreatic juice become thick and viscous which prone to the infection and the bile acid and pancreatic juice are not mixed well with the lipids which cause the infection and less digestion of the lipid and after the if the chloride not transported so it is positive in the sweat so sweat chloride test positive for this mutation and cystic fibrosis thank you dosto if you like my videos so please like comment and subscribe my channel